While at the state fair, we caught up with a trio of state FFA officers. Here's more. Well, much more than cows, sows, and plows, Nebraska 4-H, it's much more than just future farmers. These are future leaders all throughout agriculture and beyond. And we've got some state FFA officers joining us. We've got Jessica, Lydia, and Jake from Gothenburg, Mullen, and Atkinson. Did I get everybody right? Yes. Oh, right. That's just the first thing is getting that down. <laughs> and these guys are uh, representing FFA out here at the Nebraska State Fair. And boy, there are a lot of FFA kids here because there are just a lot of FFA kids in general. I mean, it yes. just continues to grow and do yeah. amazing right. things, right? Yes, we actually have over 8,000 members here in Nebraska. And, you know, I'm sure you see it everywhere as you travel the state. Just meets lots of great FFA kids from around Nebraska, don't you? Oh, definitely. Yeah, even when we're not expecting it. Like, I was in the supermarket the other day picking up some groceries for my mom, and there's somebody wearing an FFA T-shirt there. Mm -hmm. So they're all over the place. You know, and tell people it's, it's about... It's very much career oriented, but you know, farmer and rancher are a couple of the career options, but it goes well beyond that, yeah. that FFA can, can kind of lead a kid to a lot of different directions, can't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have about 300 career paths that are uh, encompassed in uh, our organization that we go from, and those two, like you mentioned, were farmer and rancher. And from there, there's about any way that you can tie agriculture to a job, because at the end of the day, everybody has to eat, and that's that's what we're here to provide. You know, it's one of the things I love about my job. I get to about as many FFA classrooms almost as you do, maybe not quite as many, <laughs> but you know, I'll go and I'll see that they're using drones for precision egg, or they've got a greenhouse, or they've got, you know, kids with their own, you have your own animal, your own cattle herd, right? Yes, I have my own cow-calf operation. Sure. And I've also raised show calves in the past, and I have a passion for showing cattle. So tell people, people in FFA do something called an SAE. Tell people what that is. I think that's one of the coolest things that FFA does. Yeah, it definitely is. SAE stands for Supervised Agricultural Experience. And that's something that every FFA member has. And uh, that's just a way for an FFA member to kind of learn more about agriculture. There's uh, tons of different ways they can do this. For example, Jesse had a cattle herd. I worked on my parents' ranch. Jake had a really interesting SAE, actually. So yeah, I'll let Jake, you talk about, about that. So uh, mine was an entrepreneurship where I um, bought cattle salt from a plant down in Kansas mm. and then uh, trucked it back up to Atkinson, where then I distributed it, distributed it to um, area ranchers. Uh, so as Lady was saying, there's multiple categories. You have your entrepreneurial, like mine, your placement where you work for someone else, and then there's also um, experimental, where you can um, do experiments uh, to that, not necessarily even agate-based, but just experiments and then document them and have a presentation on them, and that's. One area where the State Fair excels is connecting an urban audience with livestock. That's especially true at the Birthing Pavilion, hosted by the University of Nebraska School of Veterinary Medicine. Folks stopping by able to get an up-close view of the birthing process and see animals just days or even minutes old. Something beef extension veterinarian Richard Randall said is a real treat for kids. It doesn't matter what species it is, they're all cute when they're first born. And so between the piglets and the lambs and the calves, uh, the kids really get to watch uh, a unique experience and get to talk about uh, what they see here in terms of how babies act, how quick they stand. Randall hopes the birthing pavilion will help families start conversations about the importance of agriculture in Nebraska. And Dr. Randall was honored at the conclusion of this year's Nebraska State Fair. He is retiring. Fair leaders say he's been instrumental in coordinating the birthing pavilion. The Nebraska Veterinary Medical Association presented Randall with a plaque before the final livestock show. He couldn't stay long though with two sows ready to farrow. More from the final drive at the State Fair still to come. Weather is up next.